Here goes nothing. I have a CV seal transmission leak. I'm going to try this. CV shaft seal. So I'm going to put a little bit of this in my uh, manual transmission 2013 WRX. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Probably one of the first ones to do this. Let's see. If, that way I don't have to pull the CV shaft itself and replace the seal. It's right underneath your intercooler. You pull the dipstick right Add it and let it run. It takes about three to five hours of drive time to completely seal if it's going to, so we'll see how it goes and then I'll get back with you with the test results. Alright, so after adding the the AT205 reseal, after adding the AT205 reseal and doing a test drive, it seems a little better, less uh, transmission slippage. I don't know if uh, it was just blowing past the seals and just causing little issues there. Um, I did go for a little test drive. Everything's going well, didn't hurt the car so far. I might drain it out eventually after the um, after the sealing process is done. I might do a flush and then not flush but just a drain and fill and put some fresh fluid in there. That way uh, the additives in here aren't, aren't stuck in there. WRX's are very picky as far as what kind of fluid you put in there and additives. Um, usually it's just limited slip additives that cause problems but uh, we'll see. All right, uh, I'll take it easy, and I'll catch you guys next time, and I'm going to get an update after maybe a few days and see if it actually fixed the issue completely. Thanks, guys. Bye.